Adil Kundra here from Adil's Guitar Lessons. Uh, the song that we'll be learning today, it's, uh, it's, it has been requested by two people, uh, by Devin and Vidanshi. And uh, guys, thank you so much for putting in that request. Uh, it's a really cool track. I, uh, I really like this one. Anyway, so uh, the good thing about this song is that it's, it's being played originally on the acoustic guitar as well. And it's a nice campfire kind of song. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll really enjoy this uh, lesson. Let's zoom in and learn this now. All right, so this song has two guitars playing in the intro, and I'll play both the bits for you. So the one guitar plays. That should be there on the screen. And the other guitar is playing old uh, B bass notes and. Uh, the A bass note, but I think you can actually incorporate both of these in just uh, one guitar. So, in case you're interested, you can actually play it like that. Other than that, you know, just just this one guitar sounds perfectly fine if you just if you just play this bit. But if you want to make it a little uh, interesting, you can always add in the bass notes. So you can add the B bass note on the 14th fret of the fifth string, and then for this, you play the same bass note. Once again, and then for this part, you need to play the A bass note, which is going to be in the twelfth fret of your uh, second uh, fifth string. So. And then you don't need to play any bass notes. Once again, right, and then. Uh, one guitar plays the rhythm on five chords, which happen to be an E major, A flat minor, A major, F sharp minor, and a B major. And on the rhythm, the other guitar plays this lead. Sixth fret, you play twice. And then six, six, seven, six. And then on the fifth string, you play the seventh and the ninth fret. Yeah. And then you play the seventh fret of the top string. So you play this is you play this twice. Ninth fret uh, with your pinky on the top string, and then back to the seventh and the sixth on the fourth string. Nine, seven, six. The ninth fret of the fifth string, and sixth fret, sixth fret of the fourth string. Once again. And then the seventh and the ninth fret of the fifth string. 7th fret back on the top string so. so you do this uh, the first time and the second time instead of this note you play this note that's part one and then second time parts in just one guitar as I enjoy doing a lot. Uh, so it sounded like this. But you know you, you can't really play all the chords in this. So, so I would prefer to just keep it separate. If again if, if you're just if you're the only person playing this then I would advise you to just uh, 
or I would rather suggest you to skip the leads because leads when played alone it sounds bad it's always better to just play the rhythm in case there's just only one person on the guitar okay so uh, yes uh, that's the intro and then the, you have the, the the regular chords and also I'll, I'll just quickly play the entire song for you uh, there's one chord that I want you to learn which is an E major 7 uh, I prefer to play it like this the chord diagram will be there on the screen but you can actually play it like this or you can also play it like this but like I said I prefer to play it like this so I'll be playing this chord uh, in the song and then uh, there is this part wherein uh, an A major and a B major is played but the song sounds pretty nice if you play an A add 9 and B add 11 so A add 9 would be you hold an A major but you lift uh, your first string in such a way that you're pressing only the 5th fret of the top string and the 1st and the 2nd strings are left open this is an A add 9 and this is a B add 11 chords in the song. Okay, one thing more, uh, the song happens to be more of a vocal uh, driven, vocal led song, so I would not want the music at any point in time to overshadow the vocals, okay, so the vocals need to be the hero. So uh, uh, what I would suggest as musicians, uh, what I think we need to be doing is keeping the guitar really soft here, okay, so uh, do not play it really loud because at the end of the day it's the vocals which need to be the start in the song. The strumming for this is very simple, it's just a down up, down up, so all regular 16th notes. Mm -hmm. Down up, down up, down up, down up. But in uh, music terminology, it's also called a 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a. And uh, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because uh, the strumming sounds really good if you throw in accents on the ands. So basically, 1E e and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E. On, on the and, that's where we will be just throwing in some accents. By accents, I mean we'll be playing it a little harder. So, very soft strum. In fact, if you look at my pick, I'm actually playing with the the round uh, the round side. I'm not even using the edge. I'm using the opposite side of the pick because it gives a nice uh, warmer tone. Okay, so the strum, like I said, is a. Yep, yeah, so I'll just play the entire song for you now. Uh, hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, that was Sham from Nubi Aisha. Uh, Devain and Vidanshi, thank you so much for putting in that request. Uh, 
in case uh, you have any more requests, do put them in the comment section below and I'll definitely make a video and upload them very soon. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the lesson and would like to stay updated on my uh, forthcoming lessons, do hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much guys. Uh, this is Adit signing off. Take care.